Good afternoon. This is 9-4 embryonic development. So we just talked about implantation where the egg traveled down the fallopian tube and is now inside of the uterus where it's going to make it, oh, it's a one-eyed skull, uh, where it's going to make its way into the uterine lining and burrow and start getting bigger and bigger. So during implantation, so now we are at uh, seven days after fertilization or 21 days after the first day your last period that's when this is going on so here's a little picture just kind of reminding you we started out with a zygote which is uh, 2n there's 46 chromosomes in there and then it splits cleaves in half you get uh, two blastomeres they go to four four goes to eight 16 you get a morula and then you end up with hundreds of cells here called the blastomere there go the lights and then we get finally at the end right about when it in, enters into the uterus so all this is uh, fallopian tubes from like here all the way to here once we're here now we're getting ready to hop into the uterus and it's ready to go so we talked about the fact that the, there's an outer layer the zona pellucida that it needs to hatch out of once it hatches now it's ready to embed so now we've got this blastula right here so it's got the inner cell mass and the outer trophoblast layer so now we get the actual amazing cool stuff getting ready to go on so the blastocyst is going to turn into a gastrula which is something that has three layers of cells to it so here's a picture kind of explaining it here's this this is the uterus so that's the lining of the uterus right there here's our trophoblast cells right there specifically the cytotrophoblast and then we have the this layer that's the syncytiotrophoblast which is working its way and eating through the uterine lining and then our inner cell mast splits into first two layers the epiblast and the hypoblast epi on top of hypo under so this is the epiblast right here this is the hypoblast so this was the inner cell mass, just one big chunk of cells. Now it's divided into two chunks of cells. Ooh. Okay, and then as it slowly grows and develops, it's eventually going to turn into these four things. So these are kind of important. We'll see these a lot throughout the, the, the notes. So we're going to get the four embryonic membranes. And these are beginning to be formed during the first two to three weeks of fetal life. So this is like week... Uh, you know, four and five of the pregnancy but you technically have only been pregnant for two to three weeks so one of the things that all these cells are going to turn into is called the amnion the amnion is epiblast cells so that was that top layer they're going to form a transparent membranous sac the amnion which fills with fluid and becomes the amniotic fluid so right here actually this is a reptile and bird so ignore that one in the mammal right here the amnion is this blue one right here so the epiblast is going to turn into this guy it goes all the way around even goes inside of the baby like that and that's the amnion you're also going to make the yolk sac the yolk sac is hypoblast cells so that bottom layer they're going to form a sac that hangs from the belly that's this yellow one right here that's the yolk sac right there and uh, so it's going to it hangs from the belly it's going to form the gut all your intestines and everything are going to be made out of that crazy it produces the earliest blood cells and vessels and is a source of primordial germ cells for the gonads so your gut and your gonads are kind of related to each other then the third one that you're going to produce is called the allantois it's a small outpocketing of the yolk sac which will become your bladder that one is let's see allantois is uh, it looks like it's probably this one right here the allantois and then the last one is called the corian which is going to produce the placenta so that one you can't tell but it sneaks in there too and it's this whole outer pink layer right there so all of that comes from those crazy okay so those are the four different layers of embryonic membranes that begin their development within the first couple of weeks of life so you're going to need to know what they are what they do what do they look like okay here's another picture kind of explaining the four membranes as well so here's one of them the yolk 
So, and I put added just to remind you what they produce. So here's the yolk sac. So you can see it comes out right over here. Boop, a little bubble like that. Then we have the allantois, which is going to become the bladder. Now remember, it's just a little outpocketing of this guy. So these two are always closely tied together. Then we've got the amnion, which is the sac. So that's this blue one, goes around. And then we have the amniotic cavity, which will be fluid filled with amniotic fluid. And then we have the corian, which is the fourth one, and that's the outer layer right there, which actually ends up being the placenta. Sorry, you can't see the red in here. So that ends up being the placenta. The placenta has the fingers, the villi inside, where the gas exchange and all that goes on. And then we also have, let's see, well, that's the fetus. It looks like a mermaid. There's the placenta itself. So these are maternal. These are mom blood vessels. Whereas the ones down in here, these are baby blood vessels. So mom's blood vessels completely and utterly surround the whole entire package right there. All right, so now that we've got our two layers, we've got our epiblast and our hypoblast, now we're under going to go the process of gastrulation. Gastrulation is where we start to form our three germ layers. The three germ layers are ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Germ just means like a kind of like stem cells. So these are the layers that will be basically producing every other thing in your body. Here's a little picture that kind of explains it, and it'll show up on another slide. The ectoderm produces outer layer of skin, hair, lining of the nose and mouth, the nervous system. Endoderm produces your digestive tract and respiratory tract and liver and pancreas. Mesoderm produces muscles and skeleton. But you're going, but there's only two layers here. Yeah, you're right. So what happens is that the ectoderm, this outer layer, is going to work its way inside, and it's eventually going to produce it right here. So it will be made by the ectoderm. So gastrulation is the germ layer formation, occurs at about week three of the fetal age, takes the two-layered embryonic disc and turns it into a three-layered embryo. So here's kind of a picture showing what's going on. So it begins with, so here's, this is the epiblast right here, and then the yellow underneath is the hypoblast. And so what happens is the cells of the epiblast start growing towards each other, and eventually it gets a little crowded. So some of them start going down, some of them go a little bit up, and that produces a streak or a raised groove. So we call that the primitive streak. Primitive. I don't think I spelled that right. Is that an I? Primitive? Primit? I don't know. Uh, they need spell check on this thing. So it begins with a raised groove called the primitive streak on the dorsal surface of the embryonic disc. So the embryonic disc is just where this blue, the amnion, reaches the touches the yellow, the uh, yolk sac. So it's right here where the two of these. It's basically where the epiblast and the hypoblast pancake each other. And what's interesting about this is that this sets you up for bilateral symmetry, cephalization, and all that good stuff. So as you can see right here, that little thing, that's going to be the, the top of your butt crack. This little thing right there, that is your butt crack. So that means your butt holes are going to form over there. Your head is actually going to grow right here, which means your mouth is going to grow right there. So we all ended up, or started out, as a little flat disc with a giant butt crack. So we all started out as butts. I never thought of that before. We all started out as butt cracks. That's weird. Okay, so here's another picture showing the same thing. And this is a placenta right here showing the attachment. So this is the primitive streak that's going to show up first. Again, another picture showing the same thing, but I like this one because everything's labeled and it's bigger and it's nice. So here's at the top of your butt crack. Here's your butt crack. This is going to be your butt. This is going to be your mouth. Your brain's going to form somewhere in there. So how do we come out of that? Well, we fold. So that's going to come up in a minute. Uh, okay, next thing, the endoderm. The endoderm. So here's, here's our disc, their head, butt. So what's going to happen is that disc, all these blue ectoderm cells, they're going to start growing towards each other. And then it gets to be so crowded that some of them go in like this. That's going to become the mesoderm. That's where the mesoderm comes from. So we have ectoderm, red, mesoderm, yellow, endoderm. And what I like is every textbook in the whole entire world <laughs> always uses blue for the ectoderm, red for the mesoderm, and yellow for the endoderm. So the color helps out a bunch. 
So as this is happening, eventually they're going to form this rod in the middle called the notochord. And I don't know if you remember from biology, but one of the characteristics that the uh, phylum, uh, no, that's subphylum vertebrata, chordata, phylum chordata, is the fact that they had or have a notochord. So that's what makes us fall into that animal phylum. So we're going to make a notochord, and it's just a big support rod that's going to go down the streak right here underneath, and that's going to provide some support for the growing embryo. Hey, guess what? It's an embryo now. It used to be a pre-embryo, but once you get the notochord forming, now we call that sucker an embryo. Doesn't look like a human, nowhere close, but it will soon, real soon. And it's about two millimeters long, about that far. So a teeny tiny little thing. Then the uh, ectoderm layer is going to form the nervous system and epidermis. Endoderm is going to form epithelium of digestive, respiratory, and urogenital systems. The mesoderm is going to form pretty much everything else. Um, I have some YouTube videos that you can watch at your leisure, um, but I'll just kind of show you a quick... In this video, then, we'll Jeez. look at the beginning Fast. of development, no, looking into ah, the ovary sorry. and an unfertilized egg. So this just kind of goes through sperm, everything so far. Tube. So here, sperm. billions of sperm coming along. Egg. Several of them will hit the egg and try to penetrate it, but one will win, as it were, okay. go into the nucleus. Pro nuclei. And then there's a reprogramming process where the male and female nuclei have their genes uh, set aside to be turned on okay. and off for early First cleavage, blastomeres. Here you see early cleavage stages occurring. Four cell stage. And this is one of the early growth Still in the fallopian phases. tubes. As the embryo moves down the fallopian tube. About day it's three. It's going to form an important stage called the blastocyst. Blastocyst. Here in a few seconds. Of course, in real life, that takes days. About five days. There's blastocyst. At this stage, then, I'd like to draw your attention to the inside of the blastocyst. Where there are hollow cells in the middle. The inner cell mass which I'll be abbreviating as ICM. Those okay. are the cells that make There's the entire the animal. Mouse. And That's the outer baby. cells give rise to the placenta and other supporting tissues. At this stage, the embryo implants into the wall of the uterus. Okay. This Implantation. This is when the pregnancy is really initiated. And now we'll see those There's blue inner cells. cell mass cells form a disc. And okay. then as the cells There's continue to grow, they epi. change their physical Hypo. positions, their kind of geographical relationship to one another. And you'll see that represented here as this disc gets transformed okay. into an embryo. Primitive streak. Those lines represent sites where crack. cells are migrating That's going to be the mouth. And here's an important stage when the three okay, this is what I was talking about. layers of the embryo, the so-called germ layers, are formed. And I'll come back to that in a few here's minutes. There's a brain right there. So this is what happens. As development proceeds, there's more growth. The so notochord of cells. is in there. It'll begin to form a neural tube. There's a brain. Here it turns, and appendages start to bud out. You we'll see get the into the rest of that the later. Eye. And then eventually we get a small embryo, and some months later, of course, this would be born as a young baby. Okay, so there's that one, and then if you want to watch this one later, too, it just kind of shows... Um, how everything folds in on itself. So again, you don't have to watch these. You can stop now. But this just kind of shows um, the two layers. So this is a three-layered one. So we have the epiblast, the hypoblast, and then we have the mesoderm in the middle. So I like this one just because it's very visual. There's a notochord in the middle, the little green guy. So this is going to be the amniotic sac. This is the yolk sac down there. Okay. And then what's nice, if you wanted to go back and watch this, you can pause it, print things out. They're all labeled. So you can see, here's there's a notochord. See how it's growing? All these cells are moving inwards, so it's folding up. And then, um, let's see. So now it starts going. Remember how I said the blue sac kind of wraps around? That just looks like a weird clown right there. So the amniotic sac is going to wrap around and pinch off the yolk sac. And what that little cavity ends up being your peritoneal cavity. This right here. Crazy. <laughs> and then there's some other views. Let me pop forward. It's kind of the same idea. Actually, it looks exactly the same. Skip. 
Oh, this is from the side. This shows how we fold in. So there's, that's the heart. That's going to be the heart. The brain's going to be right there. So here's the pinching off of the yolk sac. Here's the amniotic cavity that you're going to be floating around in. This is you right there. So this is going to form your gut. Okay, so anyway, those are kind of cool to look at. All right, stop. So let's go back to there and look at the questions. So number one, what are the four embryonic membranes? Don't tell me their function, just their name. What three layers are found in the forming embryo? What immediately follows the blastula stage? What membrane becomes the bladder? And what is the rod of supportive cells made out of mesoderm called? All right. Thank you guys. I will see you tomorrow. I can't find the stop sign. Where is the stop sign? That's not it.